Do you feel like you need to be on every single social media platform to see results in your business? Maybe you're wondering to yourself, how many do I actually need to be on? Well, in this video, I'm going to be answering exactly that. And make sure you stay until the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you which platforms I've decided to concentrate on for the rest of 2023. Okay, first, let's do a quick breakdown of all the different social media platforms out there. So there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's TikTok, there's Pinterest, there's YouTube, there's Clubhouse, there's Threads, there's Twitter. And in fact, there may be even a couple there that I might be missing but these are the most popular ones and the ones that most businesses are utilizing in their marketing strategy. Now, here's the thing, you do not need to be on all of these platforms. I know it can feel really tempting to want to be on all of these platforms because you think, well, if it's working for that person, then it's gotta work for me. And you start jumping on all of these different trends, right? You start posting on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, all of these different places. And what ends up happening is you spread yourself thin and you're never actually moving the needle on any of these platforms because you're only going in knee deep. You're not fully diving into any of them. Take it from me, I've definitely made this mistake before in my business, especially when I first started out, I tried to be on every single platform and that really hindered my growth and led to burnout. So you might be thinking, okay, well then how many should I be focusing on? Well, when you're first getting started, I really recommend trying to stick to two to three platforms max. This is still going to be a ton of work and you're going to need to have systems in place to make it easier on yourself. Systems like repurposing. Another thing to keep in mind is the type of content you like to create and the goals you're trying to reach. Each platform has its own specialty when it comes to the type of content it promotes. So you're gonna to wanna to think about that before you pick a platform. What kind of content do you like to create that lights you up? The other thing you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is your ideal client. So not only what type of content you like to create, but what type of content does your ideal client like to consume? So for example, if you love creating video content, you might be thinking, okay, I could be on YouTube, I could be on TikTok, or I could create Instagram Reels, right? Maybe those are the three platforms you're thinking of. But then when you think about your ideal client, you know that your ideal client really likes to absorb long form content that might push you more towards YouTube than the other two platforms, making YouTube your main platform. So you wanna consider both of these things before picking the platforms that you wanna concentrate on. Now let's talk about pillar pieces of content because this is another thing you're gonna to wanna to consider when it comes to putting strategies and systems in place in your business that allow you to repurpose. So macro content or pillar pieces of content mean larger pieces of content. And I do have another video all about this on my channel that I'll make sure to link in the YouTube cards above here for you. But by utilizing a platform that allows you to create long form content or these pillar pieces of content, you're able to not only create that large piece of content, but then also break that piece down into multiple smaller pieces of content. This allows you to save time while also spreading your content to all of these different platforms. Let's go back to that previous example, right? So YouTube is your main platform and then you've now repurposed that long form YouTube video into smaller TikToks and smaller Instagram reels for your other two platforms. To learn more about how I do this strategy for myself and for my clients, make sure to save your seat for my free masterclass by clicking the link below this video. So now that you've answered those two questions and you know what type of content you wanna create and roughly what platforms you're gonna be on, let's talk about my predictions for the platforms for the rest of 2023 and moving into 2024. For the last little while, video content has been the best type of content to create and I don't see that going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, I predict there's going to be an even larger uptake in long form YouTube videos and the creators that are creating content consistently on there are going to win. I also think that TikTok will be following along really closely after YouTube as well as Pinterest. The reason why I think these three platforms are going to move a little bit ahead of the rest of them for the rest of 2023 and moving into 2024 is because they're focusing more on search. 
We know that YouTube is owned by Google, which makes it the second largest search engine in the world. So in my opinion, it's still the number one platform that we should be creating on. But Pinterest follows along very close after that as a search engine as well. And then TikTok is also developing its search engine inside of its platform as well when it comes to short form content. And that's why I firmly believe that these three platforms should be part of your strategy if you wanna create video content moving forward. Now you might be thinking, what about Instagram? Instagram has been one of the most popular platforms out there for quite a long time. And while I still love Instagram and I'm still going to use it as part of my strategy, I do think it's gonna take a little bit more of a backseat to those other platforms. This is because of all the Instagram algorithm changes that have been happening and everyone has been seeing much lower reach because of that. So let's talk about which platforms I've decided to concentrate on moving forward. So my three main platforms are YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Moving into 2024, I will be adding Pinterest into the mix. So remember that as you continue to grow your business, you can continue to add in social platforms as you grow. So which social media platforms are you on and which ones are you going to continue to use moving forward into 2024? Let me know in the comments below. With YouTube continuing to explode in 2023 and onward, I would love to help you get a YouTube strategy in place. If you're wanting to get started with your YouTube channel, make sure to click the link below to learn more about my YouTube Fast Track Formula Toolkit. It is the perfect toolkit to help you get started on your YouTube journey. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos here on this channel. We'll catch you next week. Bye.